Uh, obviously, a big a big game for for you coming up on uh, at the weekend. It, you've obviously gone into it after a big win against Aberdeen. Is that something that you need to sort of make sure you don't get carried away with that and make sure the boys sort of know this is a, a new challenge and a and another important game? Yeah, of course, we treat each game individually. So we are prepared for this game as we have every other game this season. Um, we know it'll be difficult. So we've got the, um, They've already beat us at home not too long ago, so um, it's one that we need to go into. We need to do what we've been doing, um, especially over the last four or five games. Um, if we can do that and say match what, what they're doing, uh, hopefully put our stamp on the game and, and hopefully go and win the game. Something Jack said that you you mentioned to him after uh, after the Aberdeen game that it's better been on a roller coaster than a merry go round. Um, it, is an, it is important though that the the will be sort of highs and lows and there'll be good runs and for times when you maybe not get the results you want how how pleased have you been that the boys have responded from that dip to get this this run going yeah look i think in maine we've, we've had a pretty good season said um i think most clubs will have a lot of ups and downs within a season and said and you try and and you try and enjoy it when it's good and say then it's difficult when, when, when times are tough but you've got to kind of grind through it you've got to keep doing the same things and believe what you've got and believe what you're doing is good enough. Um, I think if you do that, um, hopefully, um, you go and pick up results. And I said, throughout the season, you're going to have lots of highs and lows. And it's important that um, when things aren't going well, you, you stay strong, stick as a group. Um, and hopefully, as I said, you can you go and start winning games and, and breach confidence and hopefully win more games. And we've managed to do that recently. Um, I said, but we know that it's it's every every single game counts and every every game's different. And we're going to and trying try to win a game. Looking at this game, and obviously John's come in uh, at Ross County, and they've had some they've had some good results and some results that they would have hoped to have been better. What challenges are you going to face? One, we, we know it'll be a difficult game. So they, um, knowing we, we played them uh, quite recently, um, and then in the game we, we had good moments in the game, but um, we got punished, um, and, and and they were good at times as well. So the game was difficult, and I'm no doubt the game on Saturday would be difficult as well. So. We, we know what they're like. We know they've got good players. Um, they're scoring goals, even through a few of their defeats. They're, they're scoring goals, looking a threat. So I think they're, they're going out to win games of football. So knowing that, that, that we'll have to match what they're doing. We'll have to defend very well, um, which we have in, in, in Maine this season. I said, hopefully, we um, do as we've been doing. We've still got a, a, a chance going forward. So we've still got creative players. We've still got goal scorers on the team. We've got goals coming from different areas. Uh, and it's up to us to, to, to stamp our authority on the game and, and try and win it. Jack sort of spoke before about obviously the likes of uh, Ryan and Kevin stuff having to win their place back in the side and how, how have they been in training and are they are they likely to be in that 11 on, on Saturday? They'll be involved in the squad. Um, as I said, they've, they've trained well. So they've got over what, whatever. And said so the transfer window was, was, is what it was. And I said it's important that once that shuts, you're a football player and you get, you get back to doing what you you do best and that's play football and these two guys have been very important players for us this season will be very important players um, towards the end of the season and hopefully moving forward so no, the, the guys have been great trained well and said they're ready to play if selected Just a quick one from me also the weather is it's not looking great it's meant, uh, there's meant to be another cold cold spell have you spoke to Ross County about about the game they said they might be looking at sort of having an inspection tomorrow to see see what the pitch is like and stuff have you spoke to them about that do you know if it's are you confident it's going to go ahead we've not from kind of coaches and staff side to them I'm, I'm sure other people at the club will be um getting told what's happening but as, I said, as far as we're concerned we're just um, concentrating on the game preparing for the game um and at the moment going up to, to try and take the three points thank you uh, John, has your own training not been affected this week just with the weather in this country? Then? Yeah, a little bit at the start of the week, um, but we managed to, to, to juggle things around a little bit. Um, we said we managed to get a good session out in AstroTurf today. Um, we'll be back up there again tomorrow. Um, we said our, our grounds on Alan Baines are, has done a magnificent job to, to clear, um, to allow us to get out and train. So, so there's a lot of kind of work went out to, to try and get us to training. So we've not really been affected too much. We've said a little bit at the start of the week, but uh, apart from that, fine. Is it always an odd one when you're playing a, a John Hughes team? Because even though they are down the bottom of the league, it doesn't matter who John's playing, he always sets out to attack. Yeah, no, we, we, know, we know it'll be a difficult game. I've, um, when I was a player myself, I've played against these teams long enough and as a coach. 
Um, you've be, been involved in games against them many times, and they said, don't have to look back four, five, six weeks ago um, when they came to our place and, and, and won the game. So, as I said earlier, they, they have scored goals this season. Um, they've scored goals well recently since John came in, um, and they'll look to go and attack. And I think they're going, he's made the point that they're going to go and try and win every game, um, and they'll go and do that on, on Saturday. It's up to us to match what they're doing from that side um, and do what we do and for us to try and win the game. For you personally this season, how have you sort of found it overall? It's obviously been a bit of a strange one for everybody. Yes, it, it, it's it's been tough, but we are still getting the chance to to do what we love to do. And so I'd imagine it's been a lot tougher for other people in other jobs um, and other walks of life. But so we, we are pretty much getting to what, get to do a much our job. Um, and as I said, hopefully it's um, it's, it's going okay at the moment. So we're managing to train, managing to play. It's, it's strange with no fans, it is. Um, but you've just got to go on with it and make the most of it. And as I said, hopefully we can, we can keep doing that towards the end of the season. Us? On, on the back of the, the three victories, um, how important at this point in the season do you feel it is that you keep that going and keep pushing your way on? Yeah, it's vital. I think the manager said last week it is now the kind of business end of the season where victories are very, very important. So we've, we've, we've managed to get ourselves in a good position. Um, and it's just important that we keep continuing to do what we're doing in that space with, with hard work, with playing as a team, using the whole squad. And so I think that's become very important so that we feel we have got a, a good group of players that, that have all stepped up at some point this season and will continue to do so between now and the end of the season. So... Um, but we just have to keep doing what we're doing. So the, at the moment, things are going well, but we just have to have to continue that and hopefully at the business end of the season, keep doing it and we get the rewards at the end. How big an achievement would it be for you to hold on to that third place position and and possibly even better it? You know, you're not too far behind Celtic at the moment. Is that something that you dare look at? Um, you always want to, to see what's above you. You always want to try and chase what's in front of you, but... That would be very, very difficult. Um, I say I think Rangers and Celtic have got a really good chance of being the top two in Scotland this year. I say we just have to concentrate and, and do what we're doing. And at the moment, we're in third. Um, and we have to keep continuing to win games of football if we want to stay there. So it's pretty straightforward, to be honest. If, if we want to stay there or want to try and improve, then we have to keep winning games. And um, we'll try and do that on Saturday. Thank you. John, how pleasing has it been to see Martin Boyle back to his best? And I guess you couldn't have picked a better time for him to, to start scoring goals again. Yeah, he's a, he's a very important player for us. Um, he said he's had a, a, a really good season. He said he, he, I think he admits himself he, he dipped a little bit, uh, maybe a couple of months ago, uh, but through a yeah, kind of variety of factors. Um, but no, he's, he's a threat. I think other teams know he's a threat. He's a good finisher if we get him in good positions. Um, and he said, He's scored a few goals recently and hopefully he can continue doing that. Do you feel he's most effective playing, you know, alongside Dodge up front or, or do you feel that, you, you know, it's, a, it's an option, but do you feel that he's maybe still better in the right? Look, he's, he's played a variety of positions this season and in, in a lot of different formations that we've played and he can, he can play a lot of different positions and I think the one thing he will be is always be a threat in those positions going forward. So um, he's playing it at the moment, he's playing well. Um, scoring goals, creating chances, uh, so, but that could quite easily change, could quite easily change during the game tomorrow, could quite easily change the following week. So um, he's, a, he's a good asset to have. Uh, so he, he can play in a few positions for us.